All right, artists, we have llamas to draw today. Hooray, hooray, it's llama day. So we are just going to focus on the llama today, and then we will look at some of those Peruvian textiles um, for our background next week, and we will finish these up. But for today, we are just going to do the llama. So I'm going to go ahead and get us started. You are going to need today a piece of paper, pencil, eraser, a black crayon, I just have a little nub, a gray crayon, and if you want, a pink crayon. All right, let's get started. So we need to do, keep our paper the tall way, which is portrait, and we are going to draw a nice big oval. Now don't draw too heavy on your paper because we're going to erase most of our pencil lines when we get in there with crayon. And I'm going to go about two-thirds of the way up. Okay, so I know it's hard to see my pencil here. It's a little bit better. And don't worry too much about the shape. So we are about this much llama and about this much of my paper. Actually, I might even make it a little lower because we need room for the ears. The ears are really tall. So erase that line. Okay, that looks better. Now we're going to go ahead and put those ears in. So the ears kind of come in and then back out. And then on the outside, they come out here and then they come to like a rounded point. Okay, same thing over here. Bubble. And then back in. Come out here. And they come back into like this little shape. This is a little fat. I'm going to make them a little bit more narrow. This is why we have erasers and why we start with pencil. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put the inside of the ears in, which is almost like a little teardrop shape. All right. Now, once I get inside my llama, we know that there's going to be a little splotch of hair right about here. So we're going to go ahead and draw a couple of lines. This is going to help me do those eyes and keep them about the same height. So I know it's hard to see because I barely drew them. But I'm going to go ahead and put these eyes in. And I want them to come pretty close to the edge of my paper. Or, I'm sorry, the edge of my llama's head. They're almost on the side of its head. And they're going to be that nice big football shape. And then you have a couple little lashes. Okay, so those look pretty even. We're going to come down a little bit here with that nose and into the mouth portion. I'm going to again just try a really light guideline for myself. Now you can put in whatever kind of nose you want. On my sample, I put a little heart. You could put a little oval. You could put in a little heart like I did. Because we're artists, we get to make these choices. I'm going to just erase all those extra pencil lines. You know, my paper looks really sketchy right now. And that's okay, I'm going to erase them all. Next, I'm going to come down from the nose and put in the mouth. This is going to be like one circle, two circles. And then I'm going to make the lower jaw just a little bit smaller than the upper jaw. And I'll erase this line. And that's it. That's all we're going to draw in with pencil. We're going to put the rest of the details in with um, our crayon and color. Okay, so I'm going to erase these extra pencil lines. I'm going to erase the top of the head so we can add our hair. I'm going to erase this little bunch here. I have a stray line here. These guidelines for the eyes. Some stray pencil lines over here. We're not going to color in the whole head or the whole face, so I really want to get all the pencil lines out of the face, especially. I'm not so worried about the outside because we're going to put some fur in. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're going to go ahead and put the eyes in. We're going to keep that little bit of a highlight, so I'm going to draw that circle. That's going to keep our eyes looking glassy and shiny. 
go ahead and start coloring. Now the reason that we're using crayon is because we are eventually going to finish these with watercolor next week. And so if we use crayon, our drawing won't wash away like it would if we used marker. That wax will resist and it will stay stuck on the page. I'm just going to put a couple little lashes because they really do have beautiful eyes. Come in on this side, color this one black. And notice how I didn't color that white circle because we want to keep that highlighted. Okay, same thing for the nose. We are going to come in and give that some color. Now this is where you could use that pink if you wanted to. And I'm going to put in like a little moon shape on the nose and I'm going to leave that white. It's like a crescent moon. Okay. I'm also going to outline the mouth. Get that put in. And I'm going to do a little bit inside the ears. Make them nice and dark. Okay. Now if you wanted to, you could take some of that pink and we could add that inside the ears. On top of the black. I love that we can blend our crayons. We can also add that to the nose if we want and to that mouth. We, again, we're just going to avoid that little crescent for our highlight. Come in here around the mouth. We're not trying to give it lipstick. We're just trying to give it a little bit of pink. Now we're going to come in with that gray. And this is where we come in and we put in all that hair. So they have this messy little bit right up here in between. Like it's almost like somebody slapped a mop on their head or something. It's kind of crazy. So we're going to put some hair sticking up. We're going to get some coming down. And it kind of comes down almost to their eyes. Okay. I like it when they curl a little because it makes it look like it's a little bit more natural hair. And we're going to come around the ears. Get that outline in. We're going to come around the eyes and the head too. And now this is where we get to put in the rest of that mouth. And this whole mouth is going to become gray the muzzle here. And then a little bit in here too. Just a little bit. Give it some shading. Now I like to go back through here and add more hair in. And I like to give this like a fuzzy line to make those ears look hairy. I also like to put a little hair inside the ear. Here. Leave that little hairy line. We're going to add all that fur in now. Llamas are pretty hairy guys. We're going to come down the side too. Add all that fur. Again, I like to yeah, give it a little curl so it looks almost like it's in the wind. Oops, I forgot the eyelash here. Okay. Get in that fur in. Now we want to do the fur on the face. We can bring the fur in this way too. A little bit on both sides makes it look more realistic. Okay. Now we're going to put the fur on the face. So we have our llama almost done, but we need to get some of that fur. And I'm going to make mine kind of long and squiggly. We're just going to give the idea that there's fur on it. We don't need to color every single hair. But we want to give the idea that there's hair on its face. And by leaving this white, it allows our eye to focus where it's really important. Let me come in and get this eye a little more color too. Not quite dark enough. My black doesn't really cover very well. 
and that's it. So you can keep working on your llama. If you wanted to add any of any of their details, some of them had like little pom poms, or if you wanted to make yours a different color than gray and white, you could do that. Just remember that we're going to have some textiles running in the background. We're going to use those patterns off the clothing as our background. So we're going to have some stripes, and we're going to add pattern, and we're going to add some more color in the background. So any more additions that you add, try to keep it inside the llama, unless you're doing like a little pom-pom or something. All right, good luck. If you need anything or have any questions, send me a message. I'll see you on Friday. Bye.